Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth and righteousness, sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 shalom. My brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Military. Branch, and this right here about to be a quick, quick video because uh, you know, me and a brother, uh, Year Meyer, and also brother Taz to be joining us later of GMS Midland, South Carolina. You know, we about to go live, you know, what I'm saying in a few minutes, so I'm about to just go ahead and do me a quick, quick video here before we go live. You know, I'm be quick with it because I got the brother setting up the tripod and everything of that nature. So I ain't gonna have my too long. So, you know, I got about three scriptures, but, um, what I'm going to go into is this right here was a post that, uh, that, 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 you know what I'm saying? That, uh, a brother, uh, posted in a group chat. Now, I'm gonna let you see it, man. I'm let you see it. Cause it says it all. It's self-explanatory. Now y'all see it, man. All right. Let me go ahead and make this damn shit a little bigger here. All right, three hundred dollars a feature, Israelite only email, Sakari Seattle at, you know what I'm saying Gmail, you know what I'm saying. So three hundred dollars a feature, man, you know what I'm saying. And of course, you know what I'm saying you already know brothers are already on it like we supposed to. We the uh, vanguards of this truth, man. All right, you know on the front line for you. How about you, shot the defenders, you know what I'm saying of the gospel at the end of the day, man. Because anytime anybody going off. It's always great millstone rebuking, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's fucking going off, man. Start from the elders apostles, great millstone to the elder bishops on down to us, man. And see, this is what a lot of these Israelite camps is all about, man. They're all about um, making money, all about merchandise, man. They're not about pushing the word and prophesying and giving warning from Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. These clowns, Sakari niggas, you can sit up there and you can come as in the form of Hebrew Israelites. And here it is, you're talking about $300 in the future, you know what I'm saying, for some damn... Stupid ass whack lyrics and shit. Like nigga, like El Paso Cabar said, man. If you how about you, how was shy was dealing with rappers and he wanted rappers to come into this truth and be prophets, then guess what? You how about you, how was shy would have got the best damn fucking rappers, man. Jay Z would be damn out here, man. Goddamn J Cole, your Kendrick Lamar's, man. Your Nas, man. All right, it'll be up out here, man. Your Rock Kim's, man, will be up out here. Your Lil Wayne's, will be up out here, man. All right, you know. Okay, if you how about your mouth shot with dealing with rappers, man. All right. Okay. And and like I said, three hundred dollars a feature, man. These guys, like I said, these the same guys, Sakari guys, that bring fucking guns and shit to fucking camp. All right. Same clowns that talk about your how about don't supposed to be worshipped though, man. All right. But yeah, these niggas always want to have their names in neon lights. All right. They 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 they, they want they, they see you niggas. You want the attention. You want the glory. You in it for yourselves, man. You ain't in it for you. How about your mouth shot? Pushing the word, pushing the truth for you. How about your mouth shot, man? All right. You niggas want to make a name for your goddamn fucking self. You guys want to, you know what I'm saying? You, you are the fucking world, man. You guys, you end up with goddamn clout chasers, man. All right. You, you niggas, you, you know, the new, how to say the new currency, you know what I'm saying? Clout chasing and shit, man. Attention. That's new currency. Fucking attention, man. And you niggas, you, you niggas warranting the wrong type of fucking attention at the end of the day, man. All right. Hey, y'all, how about your mouth shot going to visit you cats, man? You know, you guys. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Nate Satan the same way, man. He be out there selling damn garments and shit online or whatnot for crazy ass damn prices, man. All right. You know, and see, like I say, once again, using this truth. All right. As a damn merchandise, man, to get rich, bro. No, you, you niggas no different than these damn pork chop eating pastors, man. And like I said, this clown, $300 a feature. You might as well take Israel off there, man. You just a fucking nigga in the damn world, man. That's what the hell you are. But let's get three scriptures. Like I said, I got the brother waiting on me. We're going to go ahead and get these three scriptures here. All right. And let's, the first scripture, man, we're going to get. Let's get Romans because somebody say, man, you need to mind your own business. They ain't talking about you. Why are you sitting up there, man? Well, you the hell with you. All right. If you talking about you, a Hebrew Israelite, talking about you, a prophet of the Lord, and you have people, you have Israelites that, that's following you and watching you and thinking, thinking y'all got the hundred percent truth. And if you don't, and if you're going off in the scriptures, you perverting the gospel. All right. If you're not, if you're not carrying yourself, your conduct, your conduct, you know what I'm saying? Isn't righteous, man. 
All right. According to Yahweh about your mouth, according to the scriptures of how a uh, man of the Lord is supposed to carry himself. Nobody's supposed to say nothing bad or wicked about you. You don't supposed to be walking like the niggas in the fucking world, man. All right. But when you talking about three hundred dollars a feature, man, nobody can separate a man of the Lord from the world, man, because because a man of the Lord would never do no shit like that. Oh, can't fucking separate you, man. That's a bad thing. People can't separate you, man. When you when you walking like a, a nigga in the world, your pants sagging off your ass, got your, your fucking drawers showing and shit, different colors in your fucking hair or whatnot, you know? Looking all dazed and confused out here, man. Okay? You know? Let's get Romans, man. 16, like I said, man. We get 17, man. Like I said, if you clown out there, you going off in the scriptures, you perverting the gospel, this is what we supposed to do. All right? Romans 16 and 17. Damn, who get mad, man? All right, Romans 16 and 17. Now, I beseech you, brethren, mark them, man. We're supposed to mark your fucking ass, man. Mark them, okay? Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them, man. All right? So that we're supposed to do, we're supposed to mark your fucking ass, bro. All right, you know what I'm saying? That cause division and offenses, man. You niggas are causing offenses to the doctrine because you're making this truth a goddamn go on merchandise, bro. You all all about making fucking money, bro. You ain't about pushing the word, pushing the truth, or your how about you, how was shot, man. All right, and then you niggas ain't teaching 100 percent truth on top of that. Then you ain't teaching 100 percent truth, man. You niggas going off, man. All right, talking about your how was shot ain't supposed to be worship, man. All right, you the, the writings of Paul ain't, ain't spiritual. He ain't led by you. How about you? How was shot, man? You know, you niggas so you niggas getting so damn stupid, man. Now you got dummies out there talking about the Bible. That's not the word of God. The Bible ain't the word. Man, you niggas just bugged out, man. Ain't nothing left for you niggas but fucking death, man. That's what you how about your mouth shot gonna bring to you clowns, man. And anybody that's going off, we supposed to mark your ass, man. All right, you know. Talking about you Hebrew Israelite and you going off, we gonna mark your ass, man. Now if you wanna be an African American, gonna be a regular nigga, be that all damn day long. We ain't gonna say nothing about your black ass, man. But you talking about you a Hebrew Israelite, you a prophet, all right, a man of the Lord, all right, and you out there on the highways and byways and you going off, then you know what I'm saying in the scriptures, you add into the scriptures and taking away from the scriptures, man, we're supposed to mark your ass, bro. Like I said, man, you talking about some damn three hundred dollars a damn feature and shit, bro. All right, you know? For some whack ass bars, man. Nigga probably can't even fucking rap, man. But whether you can rap or not, it ain't even fucking important. Because your how about your mouth with shot ain't dealing with no goddamn rappers, man. See what's going on with rappers today, man? Most are revealing these fucking rappers and shit, bro. <laughs> All right? What's happening, man? Damn rappers being goddamn revealed, man. That's what's going on, man. All right? You know? All right, I'm about to finish up. That's another brother calling me. So let me go ahead. Let's, let me go ahead. Wrap it on up. Wrap it on up here. Let's get, um, let's get. Let's get St. John. We'll get St. John. We'll get St. John. St. John, the second chapter. And we're going to read verses 13 and 14, man. All right. St. John 2 and 13. All right. And it's going into Yahweh Shah, man. Let's see how Yahweh Shah feel about niggas making, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah's father, our father, Yahweh House, a damn merchandise. Let's see how Yahweh Shah dealt with clowns 2,000 years ago, man. It's the only time Yahweh Shah lost his temper, man. All right? So showing you how pissed off and how angry, man, and how serious offense that is, man, making this truth the merchandise, man. So if Yahweh Shah was angry then, how much more you think he angry now when he watching you stupid-ass fucking niggas perverting the gospel for, mo for money, man, for filthy, lucrative sake, bro? All right. All you niggas that sold out and took that bag from Esau to, to pervert the gospel. The most I got all you damn niggas, bro. He got all you niggas number, bro. All you niggas number, man. But it's right here. St. John 2 and 13. And the Jews Passover was at hand. And Yahweh Shah went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changes of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and the oxen and poured out the changes money, the changes money and overthrew the tables. So you have a shot. Fuck these motherfuckers up, man. Turn tables over, man. Whipping niggas ass and putting a foot up niggas ass, man. And kicking them out of the fucking temple, man. For perverting the gospel, bro. All right. You know, taking advantage, man, of Jake back then, bro. All right. You know, like you niggas doing today, man. All right, putting a price tag on on everything. Then you overpricing. Then you putting a price tag on garments. Putting a price tag on on breakdowns. Putting putting a price tag on your stupid whack ass fucking music and shit. And like I say, clothing, hand hand headbands, armbands and shit. All right, you know. I tell you, man, most of hey, you the same niggas back two thousand years ago, man, doing the same shit. 
All right. Verse 16. And said unto them that sold doves. And this red letter, Yahweh shot, take these things hence. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise, man. And they ain't never fucking changed, bro. Yahweh shot, so don't make my father house of merchandise. You niggas still doing the same bullshit, man. Because when you all about the money, all about the money, 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 y'all, then guess what, man? You got to be on the curriculum of Esau. Esau going to put that gag order on you. Esau going to tell you you can teach certain things, certain things you can't teach. You ain't going to be able to teach against the one world order. You ain't going to be able to teach against the, the, the you know what I'm saying, the Karagma, which is the, the, the mark of the beast, all right, the Karagma. You ain't going to be able to teach on that. Revelation 13, 16, and 17. You can't bring those scriptures out. You can't bring them scriptures out who, who Esau is. You know what I'm saying? Today. All right. You know, uh, Babylon is going down. All right. Through nuclear missile fight. A lot of things you can't touch on. All right. You can't touch. And you can't come in the real name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. That's a, that's the first damn thing what Esau make you do. That You know what I'm saying? For these niggas that are uh, sold out. You can't teach you the name. You can't teach you the true name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So that's when we know you niggas done took a damn bag, man. But it's right here, man. This is the last scripture here. All right. First Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. It says for the love of money. Money ain't the root of all evil. Like you niggas in the world confused. Get that scripture confused. It says for the love of money. Because if you love fucking money, man. If you love money, that means you do anything for money. That means you'll sell the Lord out, man. All right? You know? That means you'll pervert the gospel. You'll, you'll sell out the Esau, man, to pervert the gospel. Like Nate Satan. Like your Johannes, man. Like your Bubba Blackfish, man. Like your Sakari ass niggas, man. All right? Niggas too, man. First Timothy six and ten, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. Yeah, these niggas erred from the faith. It ain't about you. How about your mouth It's about them niggas filling their goddamn fucking bellies. These niggas filling their goddamn pockets, man. All right. It says they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. So you know what I'm saying. So you how about your mouth shot? It's about the brain ultimately. That dad gonna judge to you niggas, man. All right, you know? That judgment gonna be right on your own head, man. All you sellouts, man. You think you're getting away with it now, but you how about you, my shot? About to bring that judgment to your ass, man. All right? Okay? And with that, man, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and end this listen. And you know what I'm saying? I rock this up, you know? Y'all can go ahead and tune in to our live on the same page, GMS Endure page. And me and um, the brother, Jeremiah, and also our brother Taz, which he's not here right now, but he'll be joining us a little later on. All right, you know? And um, we're about to go ahead and go live, you know what I'm saying, in a few minutes, man. All right. But with that, want to say shalom, shalom to the whole full shalom, shalom.